What's up, chef? So today, we are diving into the world of beef, specifically this bad boy right here. This is called a tomahawk. Tomahawk is actually a ribeye, so one of the three primary cuts. And why it's called tomahawk is because it looks like the Native American weapon, the tomahawk. So we're just gonna go right into it and we're gonna French trim this tomahawk right now. So make an incision halfway. And once you do that, you can literally pull out the unwanted meat, fat, and silver skin off the bone, like that. Another trick to do this is you can use a towel. So grab a towel and use the towel to pull the meat out. This is so that you have a stronger grip. Get all the silver skin off the bone. Once you have a grip, use the towel and just pull it out. Okay, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now you just have to clean the excess silver skin that you still have here. There you go. Now it is French trimmed. Now we are going to season the beef. Remember, it is a really thick piece of meat, so you would season it more than you would a normal piece of beef that's only 200 grams. This tomahawk is 1.5 kilogram, so make sure you season it well. We are off to the grill. What we're doing now is we're marking the meat for aesthetical purposes and also sealing the outside of the meat to keep all the juice inside while we're roasting it later. We're going to make sure that we have a beautiful marking, so I'm going to let it grill for a while to get the marking that you know and love. Oh, mama, that looks awesome. And over. We are good for the sealing of the meats. Now off to the tray. Remember, with the meat this thick, the inside is guaranteed to still be blue, not even rare, like blue. So we're gonna roast it for at least 10 minutes first in 200 degrees Celsius. And then we're gonna probe in some thermometer and see what, how it's going inside and also to flip the meats. We are going to make a mushroom miso sauce, a creamy mushroom miso sauce, and let's prep it up. For the sauce, thinly slice your mushroom. What we're doing with the sauce is basically, what you do with a regular sauce is you use salt for seasoning, of course. For this one, I'm going to replace the salt as a seasoning with miso. Inside the miso mixture, we already have some sugar and some mirin. Mirin is a sweet rice wine from Japan that'll make the whole sauce have an incredible umami flavor. Now that you've had sliced up your mushroom, let's go to the pan. Oil. Just to coat the pan, we're gonna wait until it's hot. In with the mushroom, saute it, make sure it's well cooked. Chop up some garlic. In with the garlic. The garlic is already very thinly chopped, so it doesn't need too much work. In with our sweet miso paste. The flavor is super intense, so you probably just need like 
half a tablespoon and that's enough. And remember, there is sugar inside the miso paste, so be careful of burning it. Last, we're going to incorporate the cream. I'm going to reduce down the cream, so we're going to boil it and reduce it a bit to thicken it up. Mix it all together. We're going to let it boil and reduce down now. Mmm, a bit more miso. We are done with the sauce. Give another taste. Mmm, mmm. Good. We're gonna check how the tomahawk is doing. My personal preference is medium rare for a steak and a medium rare steak is about 45 degrees Celsius, 44, just about right. So we are going to leave it to rest to let the moisture distribute all back to the whole tomahawk. When you rest the beef, you should rest it for half of the time you're cooking it. For example, I cooked it for 15 minutes, so I'm going to let it rest for 7 minutes. There you go. This is definitely something you can cook for your guests to impress your guests. Tomahawk steak with mushroom miso sauce.